hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how we can paint bell shaped flower fillers i'm using 320 gsm cold press watercolor sheet and size 6 round brush for all the flowers and i'm also going to use gel pen uh, 005 mm gel pen just to outlining the few stuff because of the outlining you can create more precise flowers now let's start with the first one so for the first one i'm using very light shade of purple and i'm creating this oval kind of shape having uh, negative space in between and uh, scalloped end so the spikes are on opposite direction and then create a u kind of shape and fill the area with the help of dark shade of purple so you can keep the shape little rounder little longer it's totally fine it's totally up to you and i'm filling the middle negative space with the help of yellow color so again i'm repeating the same thing this flower is little bit tilted towards the left side having all kind of shape zigzag pattern yellow color in between the negative space and create a u kind of shape and fill the area with the help of little different color i'm using dark shade and light shade of purple for the main flower now add stems and leaves so i'm adding one stem creating few sepals around the flower this one the flower is overlapped so we are not able to see the sepals so these things you can define for your own composition and i'm using light shade of sap green color and creating one stroke leaves applying little pressure into my brush and moving my brush towards left and right to get something like this so this is fine this is okay this is something you can keep it like that but now with the help of pen i am outlining things a little bit and once i do a little bit of outlining you can see the perspective of the flowers uh, shape and size of the flowers very precisely so that's why i like to do these kind of things whenever i am trying to do something on a loose side you can do the same thing for the leaves as well and for the stems as well you don't need to trace everything with the help of pen but little bit of outlining here and there is fine now let's start with the second one for the second one i'm using pink color and i'm creating little longer strokes like this these are more of a leaf kind of shape but i am creating with the help of pink that's why they are flowers so something like this you can do this is the base of the flower and now with the help of dark shade i am creating an oval kind of structure at the base of these flowers i am keeping little bit of white area as well while creating this oval shape and little bit of colored area as well so as soon as you add these oval shape you can see a bell kind of shape automatically so that's the idea behind creating all these bell shaped structured flower i don't know whether these flowers are real or not but you can do many different flowers while modifying these things you can add leaves sepals stems those kind of things with the help of green color this time i am using deep green color adding sepals flower vines and stems for the leaves i am just roughly creating these leaves not thinking too much so create two leaves like this So you can keep it like this only 
or else you can do a little bit of outlining with the help of pen you can use normal ball pen as well it's totally fine but the fine pen uh, is more advisable is what i can say here and i'm outlining the outer structure of the flower and the oval shape little bit of leaves here and there while doing these outlining you can also adjust your uh, shape and size of the leaves and flowers you can also include little bit of white space while outlining these things and it's totally fine you can also do little bit of shading in between okay we are done with the second one as well now let's start with the third one for the third one we need an oval kind of shape like this you can think of this particular shape in your mind as well but just to demo purpose i am creating these oval shapes so that you can understand this easily and we need to create six petals two bigger petals so side by side i have more space to create two big petals and two smaller petals in between so something like this we need to create i'm using yellowish orange color so i have mixed yellow and orange together to make it little dark in color so this is more of yellow but little bit hint of orange in it now you can create a conical kind of shape if you are creating this shape uh, like this so the uh, the facing of the flowers is towards the sky but if you do the opposite uh, it, it is more like hanging flower so it's totally depend on you what you like to do i'm keeping it facing towards the sky itself you can keep the petals little darker as compared to the whole body of the flower and then little bit of uh, red dots in between these petals now you can add stems leaves and little bit of outlining with the help of gel pen i am creating sepals this time i am creating big big sepals around the flower to cover the lower area creating stems not thinking too much about these things because we are more interested in learning how we can create all these flowers with easy way even if you are a beginner you can paint all these things easily i'm using different shades of green to create these leaves and stems you can use whatever color you like and if you don't have multiple shades of green you can mix blue and yellow together to get different shades of green so if you will add more blue and less yellow you will get different shade and something like this you can try to create different different kind of green shades my outlining is also done i have done outlining for all the five to six petals body of the flower and leaves as well i always like to cover white spaces as well like for example for the leaves i have also taken the white area so something like this you can do now let's create the fourth one so for the fourth one it is like blue bell shaped flower you need to create two strokes like this attached from the top and create one petal in between you can keep the shape little longer little wider little rounder totally fine totally up to you i am keeping it like this and then with the help of little different shade of blue add two more petals in between something like this we need to create here and then 
little bit of extended petal these are the curl of petals so we have five to six petals closely attached with each other and having these kind of curls we are not seeing what is going on inside it this time i am using yellow green color more yellow and less green and few small small flower buds you can add at the tip of the stem you can also add little hint of petals in the flower buds as well with the help of same blue color and with the help of pen just outline this stuff i am focusing on the lower portion of the flower more you can also adjust your shape while doing this you can add little bit of shading with dotted line and solid lines and you can also do little bit of outlining in the flower buds as well i'm not creasing everything just little bit of outlining here and there and we are done now let me show you one more version of bell shaped flowers this is the simplest one and i like the most so create some pattern like this you can do this roughly and then with the help of little dark shade create an oval kind of structure at the bottom but this time little wider repeat the same thing as soon as you add this structure you can see the bell shape clearly little bit of outlining with the color itself if you want to little dots inside the oval shape basically we are doing the same thing what we did in the first one and the second one but having different different shape and size gives you very different flower and you might end up having so many other flowers as well while doing these kind of things you can add sepal stems in between just connect everything create flower buds at the tip and few flower petals for the flower buds as well these are like about to bloom and we are done with all the five flowers for today's painting do little bit of outlining as well oval shape is important while doing outlining to give you more precise perspective around the flower like this one so i like to do these kind of things and i think this is the easiest way to finish your flowers with the help of pen so if you are trying to do some loose flowers like mine you can create some outlining with the pen and you will see the whole different picture in your flowers i hope uh, this video is helpful for you do let me know if you have any feedback for me and uh, thank you so much for all your love and support and watching my videos see you guys in the next video